what do I have for you in this video? Something a little bit different, something that I have done before, but this time is a little bit different because I came back to Shaper 3D. That's right. It's not SolidWorks. However, I'm not an expert on Shaper 3D. I just liked how easy it looks. It has some advantages to other CAD packages that you have to run on a desktop. For example, you could just use it in an airplane because it runs on an iPad. I will show you that in a bit. So this is it. This is the iPad that I run my Shaper 3D on. I'm not being paid for this video. I'm just talking pure out of interest because it's really interesting to see something at the tip of your hand happen. But I will get to that point. There is some uh, advantages and bonuses for you and I have put the link in the description. I will, I will tell you later on. But for now, I'm going to tell you what's going down in this video. This is Shaper 3D and I don't know. Well, you can see it. It's easy to zoom in, rotate, whatever. It's a car. Actually, it's a buggy chassis that I have downloaded from uh, GrabCAD. And if you pay attention to it, you are able to see three suspension systems like this one here. I have created all these three in Shaper 3D. The rest is just imported from SolidWorks. Why did I create it here? Uh, because when I downloaded the file from GrabCAD, the, the suspension system was missing. So instead of creating that in SolidWorks, I decided to give it a shot and create it here. So I did three practice runs. It's so fun. And I decided to leave the last one. I haven't done it yet. Right. And I'm, done, I'm not going to mirror the whole thing, okay? It's so fun. I'm sure you will love to see how creating a spiral on a software like Shaper 3D looks like and feels like it's so interesting. And I wanted to share that with you. So this video, I am going to create this last suspension here and change its color to red. Now, again, I'm not an expert. Um, I have just been playing with the software for... Realistically, all together, it's not four hours. It's two and a half or three hours. I'm not sure, but it's less than four hours and it's easy pick. Uh, let me just wrap this up. Let's get to the video. See how I'm going to create this last suspension for this buggy. And here we go. So what you're seeing on the screen uh, of my computer is this buggy chassis that I have downloaded from GrabCAD. And as you can see, it is missing um, the springs or the suspension system, all four of them. The funny thing is, or actually the cool thing is, these components are uh, movable, as I've noticed. And I just decided to export this assembly as step, not that I had to, uh, because I was missing these components but I decided to export it as a step and insert it into the iPad to Shaper 3D. Um, although I need to say that you could also directly insert the SOLIDWORKS file into Shaper 3D, but I decided to go for it with step and try to make the springs here. So let's just go to iPad. So we wanna create this spring for our last suspension. If you pay attention to this one, you could see that it kind of looks like this. We have all the components. We are only missing the red spring over here. I don't know what the pitch and height are. I'm just gonna go for something visual, okay? Because at the end of the day, it is not really my project. I have downloaded the component. What I'm doing here is that I'm drawing directly on this flat surface, which is the beauty of uh, Shaper 3D. You could just use the pen, start drawing on any flat surface. And as you can see, we have a closed area and I can just extrude it a little bit in. The reason I did it, actually, I don't like the color, it's contrast too low. Let me just change it. Um, all right, this is good. Um, the reason I did it because I wanted to create a flat surface here and later on we're gonna fill this cavity again okay so why did i want to create this plane because i wanted to draw this circle here right so we have our circle 
I'm going to expand it and move it a little bit high. Let's just say this because we want to create this uh, spiral, this spring, and I'm going to use the circle as the profile to do the uh, sweeping. Now, now that I don't need this, I'm just going to drag it up, get rid of it. Although I'm not sure if this is the proper technique to do it, it's just my understanding after four hours of working with it. Now, I have the profile, all I need is an axis in this shaft. So how do I do that? I notice if I go to add, I get um, construction axis. So I'm going to do it. There are different types to do it. Two points, two planes through edge. Two points, point number one. Point number one. Point number two. When I drag the endpoints onto an edge, I did it here, it jumps to the center, which is what I want. So done. And uh, let's just quickly create that opening. I just need a solid body. Um, bring it here, please. Or first bring it up. Which angle am I looking at? Well, first make it bigger. Way bigger. Double click. Right. This is weird. But. away right now we can go to tools subtract main body second body done get rid of this done I'm sure we can do it now yeah I'm sure we can do it now so I just realized it's not sweeping it's revolving what was it what was I thinking so I got to revolve click on this profile and now I can click the axis so simple my bad. No, it worked. Okay. I'll take the blame. All right. I'm going to take this all the way up. So because this is the height that I'm going to cover this. And look. Look at this. This is the angle, right? I'm going to take it. Wait, where is it? I'm going to find this arrow, this lovely small arrow, and start making my spiral. Look at that! How beautiful is this? I mean, it took me a while to take it to this point, sure, but I was not experienced. And to be honest, this is the fourth higher helix I'm ever creating in Shaper 3D. Now I'm going to click OK. And look, it's so easy to change this. And if I think it's too thin, I'm just making a little bit thicker. Boom, done. Change the color, go red or orange, whatever. And this is the last spring. Wow. Look. This is so good. I mean, it took me a while, sure, but it was good to see what's... Oh, um, we're going to have to fix this. We cannot leave this like that. And... Oh, done. That was a fast fix. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Ah, I'm getting the hang of it. All right, guys. As you can see on my iPad, um, it's easy to create uh, the spiral once you know the techniques. So 
we just did it it's done i made it happen <laughs> and i'm sure you can do right so you might have this question because it used to be my question uh, why would someone go for a shaper 3d shaper 3d while really interesting and capable uh, it's not comparable to a let's just say to Catty or solidworks because these are a little bit higher end and they run on pc and the interface and having a mouse and a keyboard it make, makes them a little bit more capable not that you cannot use mouse and keyboard with shaper 3d you can if you buy it for your ipad you can use mouse and keyboard but but the beauty of this software it's not it in in its complexity it's in it is in its simplicity and i love the fact that i can just work with an ipad pen because it gives me a feeling of more control things are happening literally at the touch of my fingertips so um the fact that it's less capable doesn't make it a worse software it makes it a different software and there are different indications for it as ex example if you want to do something really quick um on the run or in a plane or you're sitting on a couch you don't want to get up or um you want to visualize or conceptualize something you don't want to necessarily go and work it with solidworks because it's much faster and um easier to prove your idea to someone or even to yourself okay it's like cutting a chicken or whatever like food on your table cutting your bread with a chainsaw if you want to do something simple uh, with solidworks not that you cannot you can uh, but you don't necessarily want to anyways if you're interested to get the shaper 3d um, you could either pay it monthly or yearly and if you're interested in buying it i recommend you to buy it through the link in my description below that gives you a discount so if you just go on their website you buy it with a normal price but there is a discount if you go through the link in the description below and of course i will get my commission out of this but it's a win-win i get my commission and you get your discount without the link i don't get commission and you don't get a discount so I think it's a good win-win situation. And lastly, I will try to make a couple of more videos on this software because I'm trying to find out what is the best indication for this software. Again, you could just transfer something from SOLIDWORKS and start working on it like what I did, but I'm sure there are different indications too. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, and by subscribe, I hope you know that by now you have to click the bell icon. Otherwise that subscription uh, is not gonna send you or YouTube is not gonna give you any notification only sometimes just click on the bell icon it's more important and change it to all I'll see you next week